Hello, my name is Nigel Griffiths, I work in Power Systems Advanced Technology Support in Europe. In this movie we can do live partition mobility with a client LPAR or virtual machine that's using the disks in the shared storage pool. We'll see that this is very easy and very quick. So here's my basic config so you can understand what's going on. I have my Gold 5 virtual machine or LPAR running on my Gold machine and it's talking to a Gold VIO Server 1. Uh, supporting its virtual disks. In this case it's using a virtual SCSI that's connected to the shared storage pool. So there's some disk space at the background in here that's hidden from it. It just thinks it sees a virtual disk. Also the Gold 5 is using a virtual network. So it's pure virtual. It has no adapters in the actual logical partition or virtual machine. We're then going to jump this uh, logical partition running a copy of AX so while it's running live and we're going to jump it to another machine over here. This is the machine called RED and it's got a VO server called RED VOS1. It doesn't exist over here at the moment but it will create a new LPAR, move everything across, mostly the uh, memory and then attach up the new disks and the same um, network subnet and then um, move it over. It will then dismantle the older, unused logical partition over here so that uh, it tidies up as it goes along. So here's my HMC. Let's pop the menu out of the way, give us a little bit more space. At the top here we have my gold machine and the VO server and the various virtual machines it's running. Same down here for the red machine, the red virtual IO server and its virtual machines. We're going to be moving live partition mobility at our gold 5 here. And I just wanted to point out something in the hardware. It's got physical CPUs, it's got uh, memory in here, I.O. it's got nothing. So there's no adapters in this logical partition or virtual machine. It has virtual adapters, so it has a virtual Ethernet and a virtual uh, SCSI interface to the VAO server. And it's down this virtual SCSI interface that we're talking to a shared storage pool disk space, or logical units as they're called. So we'll select our virtual machine. We'll go down here to operations, uh, mobility. We could do a straight migrator. I like to do a validate first. So this is uh, us. We're going to say which machine are we going to go to. Well, we're going to go to red. If I had two different HMCs connected to these two different machines, I could tell it about the other HMC to talk to. Uh, in this case, one HMC is controlling both machines. I tend to use a, a very simple, normal profile most of the time, and um, it should be okay just to use that. I don't want to change it. Um, or the shared processor pool, we don't actually have any on these machines. And so we can ask it to validate that now. It's going around to check if it has it got the CPU, has it got the memory, has it got the connection to the same shared storage pool, has it got a connection to the same uh, Ethernet subnet. It looks okay, it's given us a warning in here, so this will work, it's just giving us a warning that on the other end, the uh, VO server, it can't maintain the same slot numbers. Well, I really don't care about the slot numbers. I do get some customers very, very passionate about their slot numbers must be fixed and in order. And I suddenly think in my mind it's like people who are walking along the pavement and they mustn't step on the cracks. I don't really see the point, but if you enjoy it, uh, you carry on. So we can carry on even with this uh, warning because I don't mind about my slot numbers and um, it's giving us the fact that it's going to use the particular slot down here and so we can just click uh, migrate. It's at 0% at the moment. I've actually got an exciting application running on my uh, Gold 5 in here called uh, Worms. It's uh, something I wrote. It's actually got the serial number of the machine up in here which is the same as a gold A11 up in here. So 4% it started doing some things in here. If we look down in here we'll see some changes. 
Uh, gold 5 is now in migration running state. Down in here we can see gold 5. It's migrating, so it's created the LPAR it's going to send it to. It's now transferring the memory. Now I haven't actually got a lot of memory in this LPAR, just so that it goes fast and we don't sit here for a long time. If you look at the speed of your network and how much memory you've got, allow a bit of um, overhead in here, that will let you calculate for how long it will take to move the memory, and that's going to be the larger part of it. Now we've actually seen it get up to 96% in here. We're still migrating. Oh, there, did you see it? It's changed color as well. A41, that's the serial number of the red machine. So we're actually on the red machine. It's still known as LPAR Gold 5 because we actually moved it. It's now going through the cleanup operation. If we look up here, Gold 5, it's still migrating. It will get to the 100% as soon as it takes away that old LPAR. Okay, 100%. have to let the HMC update its screen. There we go. Gold 5 has gone missing. And if we look down in here, Gold 5 is here, just running as normal. That's live partition mobility. If you're using virtual Ethernet as the default, and a lot of people do, because you don't want to buy so many adapters these days, um, then if you're using shared storage pools, you are pure virtual. The only one that's caught me out is when I've actually used a virtual optical device, and you have to disconnect that because you can't jump uh, with that connected. That's it. It really is as easy as that now, to do live partition mobility on pure virtual using shared storage pools.